Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Amy and I post new videos every week. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my declutter series. Um, and we are starting with some blushes today. I have <laughs> a lot of blushes, so I'm going to have to split this up. These are my powders and next I will do my creams and liquids. Um, I will put the playlist to the rest of my declutters um, in the eye and down below here. Um, if you haven't seen the rest of my declutters, if that sounds like your kind of video, go ahead and like this one so I know you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into this. I know these uh, Pat McGrath ones are kind of hard to see, but hopefully everything's in frame there. Um, and I've kind of split it up between like affordable and high end. Um, let's count how many there are total. 20 powder blushes. <laughs> Yay. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the affordable since I think they're less... Yeah, there's only eight of these. Boop. Okay, start with these. Um, I want them all. <laughs> this is so hard. Okay, this is this is the hardest declutter yet. This is the blushes are going to be the hardest. Okay, so first I've got my Milani Rose in Romantic Rose. Oh my god, I love this one. It is a beautiful everyday shade. Oh, am I in? focus there look at it you can barely see it and that's how you know it's perfect <laughs> it's such a pretty shade and it's so light and it works with my skin so well and it like blends anything that I have on my face I love using this on top of other blushes to blend other blushes in anything like that like love this keeping it um let's see this is the elf lychee blood bite size blush and this to me is actually a like dupe for warm honey let's see so this is the elf one i think let's see i turned the brightness down a little bit i think i was getting washed out so this is the elf duo right here these two and I really think that this is a dupe for the cover effects warm honey like maybe not the highlight isn't the same or like the topper isn't the same but the blush shade is so similar and it's one of my favorite shades in my collection um so I'm gonna keep it just to have myself an affordable option um, I wouldn't say you need both of these in your collection, though. So if you've been eyeing this Warm Honey, try out this and see if you like it. The Elf one, because it's much more affordable. Oh, let's see. Um, Kathleen Lights X Color Pop. I need space. I love this blush. It's like a very, it has a very, like, skin, like, reflective without being highlighty kind of. I don't know it just you know looks beautiful on the skin like I don't I think you can see it's got that soft glow to it it's a beautiful color it's very similar to this one it's a little bit more pink and a little bit more glary keeping um this color pop saving the world now this is actually probably the one of the most orange blushes that I own and it's just so soft and thick thin I really like the formula of this but let's see this color it is so bright which I just don't love or use very often so I don't need to keep it in my collection so I'm gonna get rid of this one uh, I love it the packaging is so cute the color is very pretty it just is like a bit too bright for me like if it was a little bit more subdued but then I get it like 
then all of their collection blushes would be the same if they were all like a neutral blush. Um, this is the Essence The Blush in Befitting. Everyone on the internet raves about this blush because it is that beautiful. It is this lovely like rosy color and it's a little bit neutral and it's got like just this soft similar to this ColourPop one like a soft glow to it and I love it so much keeping that this peri peri no peri para sorry pure blushed sunshine cheek in calm pink okay this is a very nice soft soft pink like look at how this is one of the palest pinks that I have but it is so pretty and I love this just like to top off any kind of blush I think you can see it there it's a really soft it's not a glowy blush but it does have that like soft satinness to it and it's so pretty on the skin I'm gonna keep this one um Lottie London Serene now this one has like let's see if I can get it to focus Okay, I think you can see it has like little glitter particles in it, which made me super nervous. Don't mind. Don't look at that nail. Don't look at that. You're supposed to be looking at the product. <clears throat> um, so that made me really nervous. I'm going to mix both colors up. It's a pretty color and I don't. Yeah, I guess you can see a little bit of they're like micro micro glitters, but I mean, I have to get really close. It's this one. Are you in focus? Are you gonna focus on me? I don't know if you can see the tiny, tiny micro glitters. Like it's very, very, very tiny micro glitters. So that's one like, it's a downfall to the blush, but since you can't really see it, especially when it's on your cheeks, like I just feel like it's not that noticeable. And do you see how like the ColourPop one is a little bit brighter? These are like similar, like in the same family, but this one just has a little bit more of that neutralness to it. <sighs> I'm not ready to get rid of this. I like it. I'm not getting rid of it. This one, I love this. I'm telling you right now, I'm not getting rid of this. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte in Fig. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful color such a beautiful formula i want to get more of these but as you see i do not need more blushes but this color look at that it's a lovely rich beautiful fig color and it is just so different to so many of my so much of my collection like it's this soft it's not completely matte it does have a little bit of like like a soft glow to it um, but that color, ugh, it's so good, and I love it, like, in the winter, I don't know why, but it's just, like, a really fall and winter cheek for me, really love that, keeping that, okay, now onto the high end, okay, I'm moving a little bit faster than I thought I would, this is exciting, okay, so maybe we won't have a 40 minute video, woohoo, okay, um, I guess I'll, uh, I'll try to do it on this hand. <laughs> so first what I want to do is I actually want to look at this MAC um, Mocha, which is a beautiful, beautiful color as well. And I've had this in my collection. This is, the, this is the oldest makeup that I own probably. I have had this since I was in, I think I was in high school when I had this. Or like first year of college. So in like 2008. Is when this is from but like look at it it's similar to that NYX one. Oh, where is the focus going thank you for coming back to me it's similar um not really but it's compared to my collection it's in this realm it's a little bit more of like a mid-tone rosy berry kind of color Ugh, I love it it's delicious keep let's go to Ooh, let's go to this MAC one. This is one of their like glow play and this isn't cheeky devil. This color is just, it's just too pink. It's just way too pink. I tried to use it. I could barely get it onto my cheeks. It's a very, very pale, pinky, pinky pink, like Barbie pink kind of color. And like, look at that. I, you saw how much I swirled and look at how light 
that is. I just, I just don't like this. I'm just getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of this. Okay. That's perfect. Excellent. Okay. Let's go to this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. Now, this is one of the things from her Pillow Talk collection that I actually did really like and do really like. I'll just do the blush part here, even though I do swirl them together. So, this... is kind of in the same realm i want to say as like the elf this little guy right here um because it's got that like peachy but neutral kind of color and it just when you mix it together like the glow is so beautiful it's very um like a like it's a creamy formula but it's a very thin matte if that makes sense like you don't pick up a lot when you go there and it's just like very very pretty it is very like softening and radiant and blurring and beautiful on the skin like i i i do like it <laughs> i do like it i do like it so i'm keeping it <sighs> oh my gosh okay i've got four pat mcgrath blushes let me open these up now i did a whole video um on these where i swatched them and showed them up close and everything like that so um, I will try to link that here or down below if you haven't seen that video and you want to check that out. Come here, bad boy. Okay, so I don't know why I'm looking. I know what these colors are. So this is Desert Orchid, the orangest one. This is Flirtatious, the palest one. This is Nude Venus, the peachiest one. And this is Nymphette, which is the rosiest one. Now my number one favorite of all of these is Nymphette knit right no not nymphet sorry flirtatious i don't know Ugh, my brain i thought nymphet would be my favorite but flirtatious is my favorite it is the like look at it it's the same color as my finger it's on my middle finger there but it is such a at home color on me and it really reminds me of the first one the what is this called the milani rose romantic rose the romantic rose is a little bit peachier this one's a little bit more pink but it has that same kind of like soft blendable this one has a little bit more of a glow to it though um and i love using it like on top of other blushes and mixed in and it really helps blend everything together 100 percent keeping this one. Oh gosh i'm not ready let me open up my other blushes so i can look at them all together oh i lied this one's a cream let me put this with my creams Okay, let me swatch these more orangey ones right here. Soft Peach, Warm Honey, and Desert Orchid. So I can see if there's like duplicates. What? Duplicates? Dupes? Matches? So this is the Pat... Ma oh, there I am. This is the Pat McGrath one. It can become very pigmented. It is a glowy blush. And it's this beautiful like bronzed tangerine kind of color. Love it. And then I'm going to go Warm Honey. And I'm just doing the matte because I'm not looking to see if the finishes are the same. I'm looking to see how the tones relate to each other. So Warm Honey, a little bit more pinky neutral, but probably around the same depth tone. I Listen, I'm just saying these words. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. And then Soft Peach. Yeah, way more pale and more like orangey oh my god well that solves it i need all of them thank you thank you so much okay i don't know what to do <laughs> okay let's watch these so we've got nymphette it's this beautiful like rosy pink color look at that and then we got nude venus which is like the perfect kind of everyday in the middle kind of shade actually reminds me of the color pop x kathleen lights color um which i don't think that color pop sells it anymore because they don't sell anything good anymore i don't mean that i mean like their old stuff they don't keep their old stuff anymore um and this is magic hour by m cosmetics 
This is a lovely, like, really thin baked formula. Oops. So, magic hour. A little bit peachier, closer to um, soft peach. And then Venetian rose. Which is a little bit um, rosier than a lot of the tones that we've we've swatched here. Yes, I'm wiping my hand in the corner here. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. I'm keeping them. <laughs> I need, I should, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet, okay? I'm not ready to get rid of any more. So, Seventeen and getting rid of two. Well, I hope you can see this. I know that it's like basically black, but there's stuff over here. I'm sorry, guys. This was a very uneventful one. Let me know down below which one of the ones that I kept you would have gotten rid of. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I... I can't, I'm trying, I'm trying to like second guess myself. I'm not ready to be cutthroat with my blushes yet. Really love blush and I have like a really strong connection to all of these. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I would get rid of more. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's put these away. There she blows. Here is what I'm keeping from my bl powder blushes. And here is what I'm getting rid of of my powder blushes. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.